Looks like you can pick a chap. A chapter's been unlocked. Select a chapter. Any mission works for me. All right, let's get started. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. We are the strongest after all. I'm here to save you. Looking out for the weak and protecting them is honestly so exhausting. Satoru, it's not nice to pick on the weak, you know. Survival of the weakest. That's the proper shape of a proper society. This mission is being assigned to you two. The Star Plasma Vessel is the one compatible with Tengen. You are to escort that girl and erase her. If you fail, the effects will ripple throughout even normal society. So put your heart into this. But sure, count me in on all the fun. I'm going up against the Gojo clan's kid. I wouldn't be able to do anything if I just popped up in front of him. I have to wear him down a bit using some idiots first. <laughs> I'm counting on you, sorcerer killer. I almost forgot. How's Megami doing? Who's Megami? We're now inside Jujutsu High's barrier. You really worked hard this time, Satoru. Ugh. I never want to get stuck again babysitting some kid. Uh, excuse me. But have we met before? Yeah, we have, but don't worry about it. I'm terrible at remembering guys' names, too. Which, let's head out. You fine with this? Sure. Count me in. Sataru! I felt like nothing more than passing a safety pin through a big hole in a knit sweater. But seriously, I'm fine. You make sure Amanai is safe. I'll deal with this guy myself. Go, Suguru. Take her! Make sure you two get her to Tengen. Satoru. Just be careful. All right, let's get this over with. I hoped to take you down with that earlier attack, but I guess I've lost my edge. The bounty on Amunai has already been taken down, you idiot. I'm the one who took it down, you arrogant bastard. When facing people without openings like you, you have to first create ups and downs leading to several false goals. If I hadn't set that time limit on the bounty, then chances are you wouldn't have released your technique until the very end. Is that so? Nearly 
of time. I had a feeling there was something off about him. He has zero cursed energy. He has a heavenly pact, gifting him physical prowess. No real issue. It's not gonna hurt. Can't catch all this. He's shabby in strength. Out of the way. Let's see what you've got. I'll play along until I'm bored of you. You will lose. This is the end. Good luck. There you go. Suit yourself. I will belt you. I'll send you flying. Too shabby in strength. Stop you. Yeah. Let's go. Surprised? Can't catch all this. Hold back down. There you got go. Some power. Yeah, right. Try and grab I'll show and over you your who's head. the strongest. Curse technique amplification. Maximum output. Blue! Now there's no cover. From now on, he can't launch any surprise attacks. Who's... Flyheads? So you're using them to hide? He's created a blind spot. I should use blue again. No, wait. He's after... Amanai! His intuition is keen enough to sense me empty-handed. However, I finally got you to focus on defense with your technique. Which mission do you want? Let's head out. I'm fine with... I'm fine with... Good. Let's get started. So this is... Yeah. Right now, we're in Tengen's territory. This is the foundation of the nation's key barriers, the main hall of the Tombs of the Star. Once you descend the stairs, pass through the gate, and continue on to the base of the big tree, Tengen will protect you until the assimilation's over. That, or we can turn back around and go home with Kuroi. What? Before we even met you, Satoru and I had already talked it over. What if the Star Plasma Vessel Kid refuses to assimilate? Then the whole thing gets called off! <laughs> sure about that? Well, if you decide that on your own, it might mean you have to fight Tengen. Oh, what, you scared? It'll be fine. It'll all work out somehow. We're the strongest students at Jujutsu High School. So no matter what decision you make, Satoru and I will guarantee your future. Since I was born, I've always known I was special. Everyone kept telling me that I was different. But being special was normal to me. And I've lived my life trying to avoid danger as much as possible for the sake of this day. I figured everything. 
everything would be fine, even if I was taken away from everyone and assimilated. But, but honestly, I want to stay with everyone. I don't want to go. I'm not ready yet. I, I want to travel and have fun. I, I want to see and do all kinds of things. Rico, let's go home. Okay, job's done. You're free to go now. How were you able to get to this place? What do you mean, how? Oh, I get what you're asking. Satoru Gojo tried stopping me, so I had to kill him. Is that so? Die. Now I'm on a roll. How did you know which path led to the tombs of the star? We didn't leave even the slightest residuals behind. Humans leave plenty of traces aside from the tombs. Like scents, footprints, and so on. My path enhances all five of my senses, too. There should have been another woman on the way here. What happened to her? Hmm? Oh, that maid. She's probably dead. I didn't really care if she lived or died. If she's lucky, she might still be alive. That's so. I really think you should die. Damn, you didn't start. Yeah. Yeah. Come after me. Hey, it's over for you. This cursed spirit may have a unique ability, but it's not that strong by itself. I can absorb it. That'll lock down his armory. Then I can just brute force it. I didn't cut you badly enough to kill you. Although I would have killed you if you were a Shikigami user, but with curse manipulation. There's no telling what might happen to the cursed spirits you've absorbed after you die. I'd rather avoid the extra trouble if I can. You have the blessing of parentage. But even with that blessing, you were both beaten by a monkey like me who can't even use curse techniques. You want to live a long life, don't forget that. Speaking of blessings... That's right. I almost forgot. I gave him the name Megami. Any mission works for me. All right, let's get started. You good with this? I'll wrap this up quickly. Hey there. It's been a while, huh? 
Are you for real? I'm for real real. I'm still alive and kicking! Reverse curse technique. Exactly! I could never do that till now. But I finally grasped it on the verge of death, the true essence of cursed energy. The reason you're going to lose is because you didn't chop my head off and because you didn't use that cursed tool when you stabbed me in the head. I'm gonna lose. Our fight is just getting started. Is that right? You could be right. You're so right! Right there, Lord. Lord, I, I'm sorry, but I have to admit, I'm not even angry about you anymore. I bear no crutches. The world feels so, so wonderful right now. Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the honored one. How'd you like that? Using the pressure. Got some power. Uh. See what you've got. Cut it right by you. This is the end. Here's this. You're not going anywhere. Send you flying. I will come like that. Uh, uh. Curse technique reversal. Red. Enough with the kid gloves. Send you flying. You pick the wrong opponent. Prepare yourself. Uh, 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 no issue. Too late. <laughs> this will set me. No strength behind back. it. It's All good. Right. Hit. Point and struggle. Got some power. Oh. That's it. Not that. Sure. This is going nowhere. It's now or never. Take the Amplified and the Reversal, and smash together those two different infinities to create imaginary mass. Imaginary technique. Hollow. Purple. Uh-uh. Not happening. Something's off. I refuse to do any work for free. Normally I would have said that and hightailed it out of there. Yet the freshly awakened wielder of the Limitless Technique was right before my eyes. He was probably the strongest jujutsu sorcerer of the modern age. I wanted to reject him. I wanted to bring him to his knees. I wanted to take down the pinnacle of the jujutsu world and the Zenin clan that rejected me. I've twisted myself into knots for so long, all to try justifying my life. But that was the moment I truly lost. I thought you had abandoned that pride. I thought you had chosen to live without respecting yourself, or anyone else, for that matter. Do you have any last words that you would like to say? Not really. Two or three years from now, my kid will be sold off to the Zenin clan. Do what you will with that. You're late, Suguru. 
actually. I guess you got here fast. <gasps> Satoru? Is that you? What happened? I see you already saw Shoko. Yeah, she was able to heal me. I'm feeling fine again. But that doesn't change anything here, does it? I screwed up pretty bad. You're not the one at fault. Let's head back. Suguru. Should we kill these guys? The way I am right now, I doubt I'd feel anything. No. There's no point. No point, huh? Does there really need to be any point to it? It's very important that there is. Especially for a Jujutsu sorcerer. Which mission? Let's head out. Things were busy that summer. The frequent disasters of the past year probably played a role. The cursed spirits were springing up like maggots. Exercise, absorb, over and over. No one else understands what cursed spirits taste like. It's like swallowing a dirty rag that's been used to clean up shit and vomit. Who am I doing this for? Ever since that day, I've been telling myself what I witnessed isn't uncommon. Damn monkeys. I like doing something not everybody else can do. And I like working hard. Did you know? Cursed spirits aren't born from sorcerers. <gasps> then you could solve the problem by killing all non-sorcerers. Gato. That is a possibility. Huh? But... Just keep picking non-sorcerers and force them to become sorcerers as a survival strategy. You would be forcing them to evolve. The part of you who despises non-sorcerers and the part of you who rejects that. It's up to you to decide which part becomes your true feelings from here on out. Damn it! The marathon game of being a jujutsu sorcerer. If the only thing waiting at the end is a mountain of our comrades' corpses, then. What is this? What do you mean, what? These two are responsible for the latest incidents, aren't they? No, they're not. Everyone, why don't we all step outside for a second? <laughs> Suguru. Explain yourself. You're really going to kill all non-jujutsu sorcerers now? You know that's impossible! You're so arrogant. You could do it yourself, Satoru, couldn't you? That you would try to convince someone else that it's impossible to do something which is possible for you. Do you think that you're the strongest because you're Satoru Gojo? Or are you Satoru Gojo because you're the strongest? Just what are you trying to say? I've made my decision. Now it's just a matter of doing the best I can to achieve it. Yaga, you think that I'm strong? Yeah, brazenly so. Yeah, but apparently being strong isn't enough. The only ones that I can save are the ones waiting to be saved by someone. You're Megumi Fushiguro, right? <laughs> Okay. 
try to get strong. Strong enough to keep up with me. Hey, Gojo. So even Sensei sleeps, huh? Of course he does. What kind of nonsense is that? Come on, Gojo. Oh, he's awake. Hey, that's one of those expensive chairs, isn't it? Please don't fall asleep after you summon us. What are you laughing about? Nothing. Any mission works for me. Looks like you, looks like you, there's a chart showing our relationships.